Hey guys, Angry Beast here, bringing you some Psych Warfare gameplay on the map. I believe this is called Gotham Light Power, or something like that. And this is the class in this game that I would consider overpowered. This is the one-man army noob tube. This is the um, this is the Type 95 Red Dot uh, and Rapid Fire. I found nothing in this game that will beat this class up close or at a distance. If you don't make mistakes with this class, you will have a very, very tough time destroying one of these people. So basically what this class is, is this game's M60. It's called the Jackhammer, and I threw a red dot sight on it because I don't care for the iron sights. But it's very, very good with the body order sniffer, which is basically a heartbeat sensor. It's also amazing with extended mags, just the reload takes forever. So basically this is an M60 in this game. It does 50 points of damage at pretty much any range, and it shoots at a pretty good rate of fire. Uh, the only downside this thing really has is for being a light machine gun. It has a little bit small of a clip. It has about 40 rounds, but that's not too big of a deal when you're doing this much damage. I mean, I'm killing those heavies off in just a couple bullets. And if you can stay in position like this where I'm on uh, a health pack or whatever you want to call it, they basically have no easy way of killing me. They'd have to get really close and really have to lay into me and me just being oblivious in order for them to even have a chance of killing me. This gun has a lot of ammo and a lot of damage over range, and those things combined make it very, very good for suppression fire in a psych warfare setup. I think my fun facts in this are horse healthy and kind of bulletproof. That's just to increase my ability of shooting, uh, of taking bullets. This class is literally a tank. There is nothing in the game that can kill this thing if easily. Now, one thing I will warn you about is that those speedies, if they can get behind you with their katanas or whatever they're using, they can really do some damage on you. And basically, unless the enemies use teamwork, you're not they're not going to have much of a chance against killing you, but it's still possible. I die, I think, twice in this first half, but considering the amount of kills I get, I say that this makes this class one of the best, because... I am by no means a master of this game. I'm still at this point a level 26, 25, something like that. And, you know, I, I like the game, and I do really good if I use this setup, but I feel so dirty using this setup because I see everybody else using this. And uh, one way that I have found, though, that works pretty well to disable these guys is use the boomerang against it and a shotgun. It takes only three or four shots with a shotgun to kill them if you have them stunned with the boomerang or or uh, something like that. It's pretty easy to defeat them, but I'm using the body armor here. Once again, I just want to be an absolute tank. Take no damage if possible. And I just want to kill people as they go for the bomb. <laughs> and uh, my secondary is the Thunder Dragon with a rocket's attachment. I was just messing around with that. I don't find it to be that powerful. I found a lot of people complaining on the Gotham City Imposters forum, and I don't understand it. I I rarely get killed by it. I mean, yes, it's frustrating when you are killed by it because it feels like it wasn't fair. But I, I personally have found that I get very few kills with it. But if you have pretty good situational awareness with this class, I'm not going to lie, this will get you a lot of kills and very few deaths. Uh, but if you try to rush with this, as I try to do later on in the game, you'll have a little bit less success. Uh, it, I feel like this class is best for just sitting back and waiting for them to come to you as it isn't intended for... Uh, rush up and kill him class. If you want a class like that, check out my creeper class. I did a commentary on all last week. Uh, I like to call this class my ripper class because it just absolutely tears through people. Imagine an M16 Call of Duty with a with a fire rate of an HK21 and uh, the same damage across all ranges and 100 damage if you get a headshot. That's the jackhammer. And you know, the recoil is somewhat of a problem at longer ranges, but if you use a red dot sight, it really isn't all that hard to manage. Just pull down your stick, I find that the recoil is pretty much straight up in this game. And I mean, the sights bounce around a bit, but uh, there really isn't too much recoil in this game. And that just adds to the fact that this is a very, very deadly long range weapon. I would balance it by not changing the damage or the mag size or anything like that. I would add recoil and a lot of sway to this weapon. If you notice how I'm playing with it, I'm not rushing up. I'm constantly aiming down sights, and that's how this weapon has to be used as it is. And because if you try to use it with a lighter body type and move around, you're going to get movement penalties with it, and that's generally not what you want to have. Uh, but uh, if you stay back with it named on sight a lot, you're going to be in a position of advantage. If they were to add a lot of sway to this or just add a crazy amount of recoil to it to just balance off its really high damage and automatic fire, I'd say they'd become uh, balanced. I mean, when you compare this to the partisan rifle, which does 45 damage up 
uh, close, and I'm not sure if the damage drops off in this game or not. I haven't gotten a clear answer from that on the forums. But, uh, it does, uh, 45 damage up close and is a three-round burst. This is, does 50 damage up close and is fully automatic. There's just something about that that, that doesn't strike me as right. Uh, but this does have a little bit lower of a fire rate than a partisan, but not by much. You don't really notice the low fire rate. In my opinion, it plays a lot like the Scar Rage from Modern Warfare 2. But when we consider that most of the fully automatic weapons in this game do 20 or maybe 30 damage up close, you got this monster coming in at a whopping 50 damage per bullet. There's a little bit of a problem with that, just by looking at the numbers. And considering a guy has pretty manageable recoil, something needs to change, but... Uh, but yeah, this is a class that I definitely recommend if you're having a hard time playing this game, you can't get into it, and you're you're just getting constantly destroyed. This would definitely be what I'd recommend. My team gets a plant here, and uh, we basically lock down this round from here on out. And this is what this class is good for. If you can find a spot, a spot of the map, or there, you know they're going to be coming to you, and you can sit there and lay interdictive fire, you can use the light machine gun how it should be used. This weapon will dominate everyone else. I'm not going to lie, I have a lot of fun using this class, uh, but I wouldn't expect too much gameplay with this for me because it's just so easy to get gameplays. I put it on for three games, and I got three 30-plus Psych Warfare games in a row with this class. I'm, I'm probably going to put up one more where I go 15-0 and 0, flawless in one round and the host rage quits with this class, but that's probably going to be about it with this. It's a lot of fun, but it's definitely not something I'd recommend for YouTube because it's just too easy. It's kind of like the FAMAS Red Dot site. When everybody uses it, it just becomes no fun. Uh, luckily, I haven't found too many people using this setup, but I end up the round going 18-2. and That's a 9 KD, and I am by no means the best player of this game. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm Angry Beast, and I'm signing out. I hope they patch this weapon.